As you can see by the title guys, this is going to be a reaction to my first hit comment. So pardon me if this gets a little emotional. I guess that's the reaction. Whatever the bitch name is, can't remember. Um, I guess this is the reaction she was expecting from me by leaving her dirty comments under my video but of course that's not the case I don't cry over spilled milk and my mother didn't carry me for nine months to be liked by anyone so we're still irrelevant anyways let's get right into the video I am going to give, show you a clip of the video that she commented on and after I am going to show you her comment, my response and what happened after. My final question is... people's makeup like they're some kind of makeup guru and the eyebrows looks like it's about to join like an angry boots the eyebrows start here and ends all here don't come for me don't come for my eyebrows and I will set the person straight I will not let that one pass don't comment about me miss me with that one so that was it for my questions so yeah that was the ending part of the video that she commented on and apparently she hearing what i had to say took that as an opportunity to come for me 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 someone who don't gives a fuck about anything anyone says or does that does not affect me directly once you don't touch my skin your problem is yours all right so let's get into the comments some more juicy stuff so i'm going to share my screen with you again so you can see the comments so this was the comment Please stop embarrassing yourself. You look a mess. Your makeup is a mess. It sounds like you were reading from a script. What? That background music is terrible. You're a mess. Please stop. First of all, bitch. I was fucking reading. Throughout that entire video, you could literally see the book in my hand. So, what's your point? Second of all, that was not a makeup tutorial. It was not a makeup video. And third, you don't come for my makeup. Unless you are a makeup guru and you have proof that you are, you look better than me, your makeup is slain, don't come for my makeup. Like I said, she heard what I had to say in the video, so she chose to come for my makeup. So I could, you know, give her some, you know, some feedback. I'm not the one. 
I am not the one. You don't come for my makeup, sweetheart. You don't. And uh, you don't come commenting on if a question and answer video about my makeup. If you wanted to give me some constructive criticism, that would have been welcome, of course. But don't come and tell me I look a mess, bitch. Because if you scrolled through the comments, you would have seen those compliments. How? And so your little sad ass hate comments. I mean, it was irrelevant and it still is. So I said finally, my first hate comment. Congratulations. Where have you been? Starting off with YouTube, I knew those hate comments would come and I know that I knew that it would come when you actually starting to you know get somewhere with your stuff. So I was actually thankful for her. I didn't kiss her out, I didn't tell her anything negative. But Lucy James had to continue with this, right? So okay, as you can see, other people from my contact list from my um subs my as you can see some of my subscribers saw that comment and commented so that was not bad enough that I gave her some positive feedback because people don't like positive feedback they like you to come for them so she's going to comment how can someone not comment on your makeup it's horrible what are those brows what are those lashes fill cut please please watch some actual makeup artists to pick up some skills to apply your everyday horrible routine lucy james that's what i'm going to say so she went on to commenting under someone's comment and said is that the comment yeah And she commented, stop lying. Seriously? What's our last petty? This is why I believe that that's probably somebody I know because people I know don't fucking like me and I don't fucking like them. And I still don't care. At the end of the day, I sleep well at night. I eat properly. I have a roof over my head and clothes on my fucking back. So before you come on YouTube and troll and Put hate comments underneath people's videos. Get your life together, right? Because half of us don't care because we sleep at our place. We don't sleep under a fucking bridge or out by the road. We don't care, right? So that was the comments and I'm going to show you an actual picture of the makeup that she was talking about that's horrible. Maybe it wasn't that great. And people said it was that great. But I'm going to put up a picture right here. So you could see. And the makeup tutorial is up. And yeah. Lucy James, she, she, at first she didn't piss me off. I was like so happy and excited to have finally gotten my first hit comment. I was excited. But being the fact that I didn't come for her, I didn't say anything bad to her and she would continue commenting, that pissed me off. So yeah, when starting off YouTube, those hate comments is going to come because not everybody is going to like you and that's okay. Even off of YouTube, in my everyday life, everybody don't like me. Maybe more people don't like me than people that actually like me and I still get oxygen. Anyway, um, yeah, what I have to say con um, concerning my hate comment is that I've never claimed to be a makeup guru, never in my history of YouTube. I've never claimed to be a makeup professional because I'm not. I always say that I'm new to makeup and I'm learning, right? Two, my self-esteem is way 
way way too high for any negative comment to bring it down trust me like hit me with your best shot it's not going to bring me down most likely i've already heard something worse than that probably from even a family member so if i didn't care then i'm not going to care now three i have actual compliments on whatever it is that you try to sprinkle some salt on so that's what matters to me those compliments feel me and you should try getting yourself a life and stop trolling on social media especially when you don't have a photo of yourself to actually show that you're better than the person you're trying to bring down behave yourself and unless you don't have YouTube videos on YouTube, that means you don't have the guts to actually put content out there so people could criticize. So you should, you know what you should do? You should give credit to those who actually put in the effort, sit in front of camera, record, talk, or do whatever it is that they want to do, edit those videos and put it out there. Give credit to those people because people like you send people to kill themselves but I'm not the one I have a lot to live for I have a bright future ahead of me and no negative comment is going to make me question any of that and finally I would like to thank you for the view thanks for the views though and you disliked and you left your hate comment so let me be the first to tell you that YouTube is about views and activity so when you disliked my video that increased my activity when you left those comments that also brought it up so i'd like to thank you personally from me shanice louis to you lucy james and any other person that has disliked my videos thank you that was it for my video guys my reaction to my first hater actually she's not my first hater i have plenty of those but she's actually the first one to be brave enough to you know drop that hate comment and i appreciate you so much now i know that i'm actually doing something on hair you know i got this new back backdrop compliments you because you motivated me to just you know be better the video you commented on you saw that background right i was in my balcony now backdrop backdrop so thanks lucy james my first hate comment i appreciate you girl keep doing what you do which might be nothing just sitting there trolling on social media but do you boo boo thanks for watching guys bye Before I leave, I'd like to say that I just passed 200 subscribers on my channel. So, a giveaway is coming soon.